พี่ Death by Bluegill Warrior We can keep my control tech here. Yeah, good hand. People are so racist against Murlocs in Arena. They only play Bluegill, everyone else they just shun. Okay, that's an extra watcher. <laughs> Hopefully I draw a combo with it. <laughs> out there. Go Ancient Watcher, you do your thing. <laughs> that is an excellent trade for my Panther. Doing that. Next turn I can either play Yeti or I can play Wrath on the 3-3 and go crazy. <laughs> Dragons do need to be more powerful. Dragons always need to be more powerful. <laughs> but yeah, I'd like to see a Dragon Master that like makes dragons cheaper or something. Nah, Dragon Synergy, something with the Dragon type is going to happen. It is inevitable. Alright, I have been trained well to just always, always kill those things. I'm sad you didn't silence my 4-5, that would have been cool. Looks like I just have to trade in my Worgen. Technically, you already got a card from that silence, so I'm pretty happy. Hey, first damage, alright. Armor piercing would be cool. That's no good. I think so big. Okay, uh... I don't really have an option other than to ignore it, I think. I could trade my Force of Nature in, but I don't really want to do that. I think it's okay to just do 8 to him. My other option is to play Brewmaster. Where shall I strike? Alright, he's a creature, sadly. Give me a quest. 
Whoa, okay. Killing my ancient washer. Interesting. Alright, Force of Nature is only going to be a two for one, but that's still pretty good. <laughs> my ancient watcher did work even though it didn't matter. <laughs> Ancient Watch I can't believe my Ancient Watcher got value with zero like even though I didn't draw the combo. <laughs> Someone call the doctor. Okay. I'll put it on your head. Well, it was in his way of fourth lightning, but still, well, I don't know why you do that. This deck is so good. Man, I love this deck. Um, yeah, you get a death rattle die end of turn if you return the tree to your hand with the master. Those fire elementals are good. Okay, uh, is he almost dead? Like, let's see here. I could do four. So this is six plus six is twelve. He's like really close to being dead. Not quite though. Oh shit! That was I just threw away damage. That was dumb. Oh well, that's okay. Hopefully that doesn't matter. I don't think it'll matter, but <clears throat> if he lives on 1 HP or if my guy has exactly 2 damage done to him, then I will be so sad. Silver Moon shall not fall. Oh, interesting. He hexed and then attacked. He actually could have lived for a turn if he hadn't done that that way. If he killed this one too. Also, I, I ended up above thirty life because of my great play. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Do you guys think this deck might go twelve zero? It's looking really good. Like, obscenely good. Versus Anduin. The light shall bring victory. I must protect the wild. Okay, I need more two, so I have to ship keeper, I think. Actually, you know what? No, keeper's so good. I already have one too. I'm just gonna keep. I'll keep the keeper.
Good constructed deck. You might be onto something, Jay Z. <laughs> I might try and make this make this work in constructed. All right. Let's see. This might work. Let's see if Raging Morgan gets there. Sometimes they just don't have anything. Drink with me, friend. Oh, he retreats. Coward. Coward. Okay. I think this is just a good YOLO bomber. My other option is Flesh Eating Ghoul and Trade to get a 4-3 onto the board. Yolo Bomber is exciting though. Hmm. Not sure. I'm gonna go with Yolo Bomber, maybe you wait to him. Nothing to see here, just have to play the boring mind control tech. Hoping I draw a cult master to go with the Oh, Savage Roar combo. That's that's fine. <laughs> Next turn can be flesh eating ghoul plus wrath, I guess. Oh, no, that thing's too big. I have to swipe it. Too big. Yeah, it would it would have been funny if the bomber had just killed my worgen. I'm glad it didn't. I was a little scared for a second there. Okay, I have enough mana to do ghoul plus wrath on his drake plus headbutt. Next turn can be force of nature plus power of the wild. And then Force of Nature plus Savage Roar. That is brutal. Can you kill my 8-4? If not, you lose. Actually, does he just lose anyway? This is doing 5? Yep, he loses anyway. If he, if all he does is... Well, actually, he heals himself and kills this, then he can survive a turn. Yeah, that's not going to do it for you. Sorry. I'm not really sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the plays. Oh, 
Hi, Rainier. Sorry about that. I actually admit to having Arena in my title and not playing Arena sometimes. <laughs> but I was play It looks like I'm doing it in play mode though, doesn't it? This this deck is ridiculous. It's so dirty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So far, none of my opponents have said, well played. None of them. <laughs> because every time they just get burst out by a bullshit combo of with Force of Nature. I will fight with honor. I must protect the wild. Uh, I'm just dumping Bluegill here. I don't need a Bluegill. Oh shit, that's worse. Well, okay. Gonna have to hope that Berserker plus Cleric gets me there. It's skill, not the deck. Yeah, it is. <laughs> totally. You guys believe me, right? 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 Okay, Ancient, Ancient Washer has done big plays so far. He's been good every single game. <laughs> One time he did 4 damage to a Fire Elemental. Oh, I drew the combo. I drew the combo, guys. Sweet. <laughs> Get time for a little blood. I'm probably just going to play him turn 3. If he doesn't play something that I want to pump. Oh, boring. Super boring. Okay. We must this isn't great, obviously, but it's better than getting two for one. Please just make a token. He made a token, that'd be pretty sweet. We must cleanse the sun well. Poor Cult Master. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. I yeah, I have to keep the Keeper of the Grove for the Watcher. Oh, interesting. So now I have to choose between getting the 2 for 1 off the Keeper or silencing my 4-3 and not really doing anything. So that's almost certainly get down.
if it wasn't get down, then I'd be in better shape. For the wild. Oh, interesting. I wonder it could be. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna do this play. It might be the trap that makes it down to one, or it might be just res to res at one life. Looks like it's res at one life. Kill this for free. That's annoying, but not too bad. And then this and this can come out. That secret bait thing is really tough. It made it actually made it really hard to play correctly. Don't know what the right move was. Okay, this isn't amazing by any stretch of the imagination. But I think it's the best play. You just silence the 4-5 and run it in. I mean, that's not great. And then let's see, I have to kill that thing or it will go crazy, so... I don't think I can make a panther. Okay, so this is actually not going well. He seems to be going late versus me. I did get that one card off of the Cult Master. But yeah, it's looking rough. Really? Okay, looking less less rough. Mana addict. That's a that's a good joke. Alright. Uh Savage Roar here looks interesting. I could wipe his board and um, do two damage to him, and my ghoul gets pumped. I think I'm doing Savage Roar. Oh, interesting, he just goes for it. Okay. Probably I can't kill that easily, so I should just ignore it. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. If he plays, if this is Blessing of Champions, then, or Blessing of Blessed Champion, I think is what it's called, then I die. So I could trade in, I could trade in Keeper and swipe it. No, I can trade in all of my guys except for the ghoul and just go all in on the ghoul plan. Or I can do 8, 10, 14. Nope, I'm just going to go all in on the ghoul plan and kill that thing. It's too scary. Not sure about that one, but they just didn't. I didn't want him to double my. <laughs> All right, he is really close to just dead. Yeah, he's dead. There was a lot of stuff I could top deck up. Um, I could do like treants or any. Yeah, a druid. I don't actually know what else. <laughs> I, 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 I had the swipe already. The savage roller. But anyway, that's fine. <laughs> Boom. I have newfound respect for Force of Nature. Sometimes it's not that good. Sometimes it's it like just trades one for one with a water elemental, for instance. But man, sometimes it's just ridiculous. It's, it's definitely a combo card, you know? I should try and make a deck with it. In Constructed, but... So far I haven't found a way. I must protect the wild. This is a hand of things that say 3-2 or plus 1 plus 1. <laughs> Wrath you are the odd man out. Oh man, Mark of Nature. I forgot that I had that that amazing card in my deck. It's pretty terrible. I think a Fodex talked me into taking it. Wanna blow something up? Oh wow, no. Okay. That's bad. That's really, really bad. Um Not much to do. I could wrath it, or I could make a panther. I'll make a panther, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, that was pretty bodied. If he, if it just left it with one HP, I would have been fine. I just cast Mark of Nature and kill it. Yep. Game is game was good, guys. Mad Bomber. Mad Bomber, what are you doing to me? Okay, uh... Shit, I don't know. Um... We're gonna cycle for something else. That's what we're gonna do. Boink. So I don't have anything better to do with my mana. Next turn I can make a druid, a taunt, that might do something, I don't know. The 
Oh, just stop. Just stop. Haven't you done enough? Oh, ow. Pain. It hurts so bad. Okay, uh... This is still my best bet. I just have to hope he doesn't have anything else that's bullshit. Alright. The 12-0 dream is dying. Don't mess with Tusker. Heroic strike. No, don't do that. Oh my gosh, it hurts so bad. Meanwhile, Mark of Nature continuing to be totally unplayable. Okay, am I just factually dead if I don't play a taunt? Yeah, I'm factually dead if I don't play a taunt, so my last ditch effort stay, trying to stay alive here is going to be to play this and cast Mark of Nature on it. But probably this isn't going to work either. Yeah, I know Mark of Nature sucks. I had an Ancient Watcher, Shiri. I needed it. I needed it for the combos. <laughs> Even Ancient Watcher plus... The other options were pretty bad. I forget what the other options were, though. Um, no, Young Priestess was in the Savage Roar pick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Young Priestess was for Sanctuary, you're, you're right. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know. This is, this is not good. Oh, no, no, he's, he's going in with the, the value, the Cult Master value. No, stop, stop, oh god. <laughs> Have you no decency, man? Have you no decency? All right, I need to swipe. If I have a, if I top deck swipe here, then I stay alive. Maybe, probably not. Even then, probably not. Okay, that's it. I think. Well played. I concede. Well played. Not my best work, man. That mad bomber. Everything, I mean, I think it would have been kind of a close, intense match, except that Mad Palmer <laughs> totally screwed me. Yeah, it would have been a lot better without the Mad Bomber. Because, uh, if he doesn't kill my guy, then I can do Bless. I can do the Mark of Nature on it and kill the guy, and Mark of Nature isn't a dead card in my hand the entire game. I got my first well played, that's good, yeah. Oh, I have the combos. I'm shipping Cult Master. And I think I'm shipping... No, I kind of want both of these, actually. Yep. So my plan is turn one, nothing. Turn two, Ancient Washer. Turn three, coin into one of these. Hello. Yes, Flamp is still a premium after patch. Um, the one damage doesn't really come up that much, honestly. It's fine. Drink with me, friend. Oh, tricky devil. But little does he know I'm the master of tricky devil plays. There we go. Get ready, guys. It's coming. He's like, wait, what? <laughs> you can see the confusion in his mind. Like, what is he? What is he doing with that? Oh, get wrecked, son. Hmm, this guy's more versatile, but he doesn't, but if I play this guy, he just trades in the 3-2. So I think I have to go with this one to silence it. Oh, 
Oh, you know what? I should have spellbreaker because then he, he's got two, two, th four threes. To damn it, that was dumb. Oh well. I forgot about this guy. But yeah, I, I should have played Spellbreaker because then he has. I have two 4 threes. He has traded in one of them, that's fine. And then this guy is more versatile than this guy. Oh well. Hopefully that doesn't kill me. That, that error. That was definitely an error. Oh, he's gonna frost bolt. Okay. All right. So actually, it worked out. Okay. Great. And spellbreaker, my watch. I could have done that too. Yeah. Um. I feel like maybe I just run the spellbreaker out there. Your magic shall not save it's the most man efficient. Yeah, it works. Amani and armor up seems worse. Like I'd rather have a two-three. I'd rather have a four-three in the fourth than a two-three. You're right. I am wanting the the watcher combo too badly. Um, you're right, maybe I could have just done two damage to the questing adventurer. What to do? I don't know. Hard to say. Alright, this is definitely... Okay, so it's one turn till flame strike. I'm going to do this. Actually, no. I don't want to give him a good worgen this turn, so I'll just play Druid of the Claw on taunt mode, I feel. Where shall I strike? And then just hit him for one. First blood. Well, not first blood, first point of damage for me. <laughs> I'll get the fireball. That's legit. Ooh, Matt Bomber. Sure. Wanna blow something up? Three, two, four. Maybe. Yeah, last hit. Excellent. Okay. And then, um... I guess I'll play Almani. <laughs> Over Cleric, and then just hit him in the head. Next turn, I can Wrath my own guy. That could be interesting. I hear you got a problem. Interesting. Hmm. So as always, I have to be worried about Flame Strike. But I think I'm still going to cycle Wrath on the Mahamani. That's a lot of damage. If I can force him to not attack my face with that, to uh... And then meanwhile, I'm hoping I draw Savage Roar, Cult Master, to go with this Force of Nature. Um, but I can't, I can't put another guy onto the board because I'm too scared of Flame Strike. I think. Next turn, I can do like Druid plus this guy to trade, trade in there. I could have played Yeti, maybe. Yeti would have been okay. If 
four six taunt was definitely bad because the Ravenhold kills it for free. But Yeti might have been okay. We have many secrets. Shields up. Oh, interesting. That's not great for him. Because I'm just going to trade the 3 2 into the 4 3 and then the 5 2 into the 7 5. Unless I can kill him. This is 9. And that's 6. So I'm so close to killing him. He's really close to just dying right here. It's sad that he can't. I could do eight. No, I could do uh, four, nine, 13 damage this turn. Nope, though, I have to. I'm just gonna use conservative here. I'm too scared of my own health by just a hair. And that is a good trade, I think. I feel like that's a pretty good trade. Just be safe. If he doesn't have the flame strike, or if he does, if he chooses not to flame strike here, then I can just ninja him down. Because this is eight, uh, twelve, and six is eighteen. Yeah, it's exactly exactly lethal. So if he just plays creatures this turn, then he's dead. Creatures that don't have time. I wonder. That looks promising. Please, no cone of cold. If you cone of cold to me, then I die. No. Nope. Okay, he's just dead then. Assuming like I'm gonna recount just to make sure. So this is eight, fourteen, eighteen. Yeah. Okay. So Mark of Nature won a game. Let it be let it be known that Mark of Nature did win a game. Well played. Well, she might have had it and then wanted to get the three for one off. Push forward. She might have been holding it. Hey, I got a well played. No. It's also possible she just didn't draw one. Good job, Mark of Nature. Way to redeem yourself slightly. <laughs> oh yeah, it, it definitely happens. And also, the sad, the weird thing is that you can draft Mage and not get spells and still do okay with your hero power. <laughs> and you're just random dorks in your deck. It's kind of crazy. Oh, 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 I have a combo. Do I keep the combo? Guys, 
Do I keep the combo? I could keep the combo. <laughs> um, I think that's not good enough. I think I want a silence, honestly, not mark of nature. This is just asking to get polymorphed or something. Oh, I drew it again, but that's okay, because I drew my silence. This is going to be a pretty quick Ancient Watcher. Turn 3 Ancient Watcher. Well, I mean, it's easy to make fun of mages for holding uh, the flame strike in their hand, but like when it's only two guys, it's 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 it can be tough to to let go, you know. <laughs> Job's done. So he gets one cheap creature. See that, guys? He just killed it. <laughs> wow, big plays. Why did he do that? <laughs> okay. Um. I don't. I don't even. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't even. Mind games, yes, mind games, son. <laughs> All right, you get the blood cell raider. That's not very impressive. All right, and this is my only remaining combo. Well, actually, it's not my only combo, but I'm going to do it. I think this guy is a little bit better than, uh... Well, I mean... Yeah, I think this is fine. Here, we'll do it. Hopefully, he doesn't polymorph it. The main reasons to do it are just because of the how, how the mana worked out. And also, Keeper of the Grove's damage ability is really good. Like, legit amazing. I still have no idea why he ran his 2-2 in for no reason. <laughs> oh, interesting. He decided not to attack. Hmm. So I guess this is a Cult Master? Flesh Eating Ghoul is also interesting. But I think Cult Master wins out for the day. My control deck could steal some dudes. My control deck could definitely do that. We'll see. I don't think that's happening, but it could. What is he doing, man? Alright, so Flame Strike is coming. I should probably just, uh. Oh, wait, Mind Control Tech. Duh. Derp a derp. Alright, let's Mind Control Tech first before I do anything. Come on, 4 4. Oh. No. 
and then um, I think I trade in my 4-1 into the 4-4 because winter is coming. Or I could power of the wild. What to do? The power of the wild seems like it just dies to flame strike. This deck has three druids? What an insane deck. I didn't even know it had three druids. Jeez. <laughs> okay. So... Again, Power of the Wild doesn't do a lot for me. And Boulder Fist Ogre is pretty bad in this instance. So I think it's Ghoul. And then hit in here. This thing is gonna get pinged or flame striped anyway, so I'm just gonna trade it in for a point of damage. And then um no, flame strike is too good still. Oh actually flame strike isn't the worst. Because this guy lives. No, I'm just going to sit on my cards for now. Yeah, this is the time. Yeah, this is where yeah, Shiri caught the same play. This is nice because if the ogre hits the four six, or for, I mean, sorry, the four seven, then Keeper of the Grove can finish the ogre off, assuming that he doesn't heal it or something. Let the pain speak to me. Definitely doesn't have AoE? I don't think so. I've been playing around him pretty cautiously, so I, I would suspect that he could still have it. Um, that said, I could run in a Druid, do two damage to it to finish it off, and then splitting for a lot. Breaking a spell is card advantage. Okay, we can do that. Yeah, let's do that actually. And then I think I just hit him in the head. And I can do one damage to that too, why not? Now does he have a flame strike? This Ancient Watcher has been amazing, by the way. The Ancient Watcher Mark of Nature combo that he never had the polymorph for, and he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to ever swing into it because it's not a real creature. <laughs> so he's just sat here. All right, here comes the flame strike. I would assume. I think it was still worth it because the spell breaker got a lot of, of card advantage just by not letting him get more cards with. Back light of pain. I wonder. He has to flame strike me this turn, or else he probably dies. <laughs> Oh, he didn't have it. Ready, 
Is he dead? No, he's not dead. I could do nine. Let's see, that's nine damage plus eight is seventeen. So he's not dead yet. So I don't think he has it. The way based on his play, I don't think he has a flame strike. So I'm gonna go with that read. Although honestly, even if he does have a flame strike, am I really not going to do this play? I mean, that's 10 damage. So even if he's not dead immediately, this is looking pretty rough for him. And then I play Sunwalker. But yeah, I don't think he has Flame Strike. He would have just used it to prevent me from doing that to him. Because that's really dangerous. Possible that that card right there is a Flame Strike that he just drew. But I doubt it. Your magic shall not oh, save. silence. Alright. Wait, what? Whoops. Wait, what? <laughs> oh no! Sorry about that. Oh no. He doesn't actually have a way to kill this one. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a throw. Yeah, alright. <laughs> okay, thanks. I'll take it. It's not just me who makes the big plays. There are big plays everywhere. R.I.P. in peace, mage. It's not the first 12-0 medal. Uh, it's, not, it's not the first 12-0 ever. Because it's, I had 12-1. I lost one game, sadly. Yeah. So it'll be the second 12-1 ever, which is... Not that impressive. But... Yeah, I mean, that's a punt. That's, that's not a medal. I mean, it has to be off the top. Oh yeah, and I lost to Mad Bomber. Yeah. Definitely not a medal yet. Although this is... This is one of the most insane drafts I've ever had. I think it's definitely the best druid deck I've ever drafted. And I think I don't think it's as good as that one mage deck with like four flame strikes and Antonidas and shit, but it's still really strong. Uh oh, did it lock up? Might have locked up. Oh here it comes. Oh, so many mages. Blizzard, please fix. You asked for it. I must protect the wild. Alright. Oh, uh, I'm gonna keep Keeper of the Grove. Keeper of the Grove is always amazing. And what if I draw an Ancient Watcher? I'll need him. <laughs> okay, this is good. I can just ramp in the Keeper of the Grove. Excellent. He will let me wild growth in peace. That's a pretty good silence. I'm probably going to just silence that. Yeah, I think so. Alternatively, I could just make a Berserker and a Raider, but... Nah. Let's silence it. For the crusade! That would have been a good silence target as well. Oh well. He 
feel nature's wrath. For the wild. This is just gonna die to friggin' Scarlet Crusader anyway, so I'm not gonna play the Berserker, I'll play the, the real one next. Or later at least. Maybe Sunwalker's coming up next. Oh really? If he attacks my face, that's dumb. Okay, alright, thanks. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's an error. It's gotta be an error, right? Okay. Um, yeah, the big plays are happening tonight. Oh, I'm frozen. Hopefully no polymorph here. I just all I want is a clean two for one. That's all. I'm not a greedy man. Uh oh, what's he doing? Don't do it. Don't do it, kid. Just don't do it. Just, just say no. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna just force of nature here to clear his board. I guess I should cycle wrath first. Just in case there's a better play. No. Why would there be? so big. I don't actually have an answer to that really. Uh, okay. So here's where I hope he doesn't have any more fireballs left, because otherwise I'm dead. Um, I'm just gonna play my hand, I guess. This is, this is where you have to play in the flame strike. You just have to. I don't really see a way to win. Unless, if he doesn't, if he has flame strike, I don't see a way to win, so I just have to play my guys out because I don't have any removal and just hope for the best. And if he flame strikes me, then I'm dead. Oh, looks like he just has the fireball. Yeah, oh, oh, maybe not. Okay. That was a medium result. I mean, it wasn't good. <laughs> let's let's be real honest here. It wasn't good. Uh. Okay, so the way I'm gonna do this is this guy gets taunt, and then I give some other guy taunt too. <laughs> it's 
So now, now actually Flame Strike isn't that bad. I might, I have like a tiny sliver of hope if he Flame Strikes me. Savage War maybe kills him next turn. Could it could kill him. I'm full. All right. How much damage can I actually do? So this is six. This is twelve. Eighteen. 20, 21? No, so not even close. Okay. But I drew Cult Master, which is really strong. Cult Master and Flesh Eating. And I'm not sure what I'll do with my other... I, I'll, I should just go ahead and trade in at this point and see what I draw. Alright, and I still in fireball range. I could win maybe still if he has flame strike. Maybe. Pretty unlikely. Actually, yeah, I could win with flame strike. So I'm gonna go ahead and bop him in the head for one. Next turn I get out of flame strike, I get out of fireball range, which is, would be nice. Okay, I'm glad you top deck the flame strike. Excellent. Drink with me, friend. So I'm glad I did that. Okay, oh, Bluegill Warrior is very nice here. Where shall I strike? And it's just really tempting for me to get out of flame strike, to get out of fireball range. So I'm going to delay playing the Ancient Blade Master just a turn. Is that a fireball? That's a fireball. I will laugh. What to do? Oh, okay. Just a freezy thingy. Alright. Oh, he's really close to just dying, huh? Do I have lethal, assuming that I hit him for one damage and swipe his face? I could. Uh... So let's see, he trades there. So that's four plus, uh, so let's see. So this is 14 plus six is 20. So yeah, if I swipe his face, he probably dies. I think I'm going for it. This is also isn't that bad because let's say he kills this guy. Well, he still has to deal with this one. Oh, he's not attacking. Okay, so I kill him. I had, I was like, huh, is that lethal? I don't even know if that's lethal or not. Looks like it was not quite lethal, but almost lethal. 
Okay, big plays. G G G G G G G G G. Okay. <laughs> that went well. Another twelve win. Sweet. That is a so much gold. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is a lot of gold. That's four hundred and eighty gold. And then 25 dust. <laughs> okay, 480 gold. Easy. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know, Swiffle, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Oh, that's a pretty good pack too. A rare, an epic, and a golden rare. Oh wow, check out Mana Rate. That is sweet. I almost want to play him. Almost. Yeah, check out how sweet that looks. Look at him suck away that mana. What did we learn? Force of Nature plus Savage Roar is a thing, yeah. <laughs> Alright, good times. I feel like I didn't throw too much this this time around. Last night was bad. I made so many mistakes. <laughs> Savage Roar isn't bad, yeah. Um it's not as good as Bloodlust because Bloodlust pumps totems, you know? That's that's a hidden ability that it has. But it's still pretty good. Alright, so what am I doing? Yeah, too bad I lost my deck. I only got to, to crush 12 people with it. Um, I think I'm going to take a small break because I have to cast a Yomi tournament in half an hour. And I have to do it solo. So um, I'm going to call it a day. Thanks for watching, and I will be back tomorrow.